In this special final episode, I visit Turner Prize winning artist Elizabeth Price to discuss her work, A Restoration. It's very satisfying to be able to talk to you, Elizabeth, because we began this series at the Ashmolean and you were showing at the same museum a new work of your own, which is this video piece called A Restoration. And a big chunk of it is about intoxication and drinking. It's probably worth outlining, though, how you get to that point, because it's quite a complex affair, isn't it, the, the new work? Yeah, the video opens with a, a whole section which is looking at the photographs and drawings and plans that Arthur Evans, one of the earlier curators of the Ashmolean, made of his own excavation at Knossos. We group and stack these up in geometric formation, plotting out the footprint of a great complex of enclosures and passageways. What happens in the film is this material is mined to create another restoration of Knossos you know, within the narrative of the video and, you know, within the hard drive of the computer, if you like, then I suppose what I wanted to create was a sense of a population, a, you know, an inhabitation of this place. And one of the best ways to do that was to imagine a huge festive throng. We take them from antiquities and anthropology, from Eastern art and from Western. We bring them all together here. Why are you so drawn to this theme of revelry, abandon, drinking, which you made such a prominent part of a restoration? I suppose because uh, the idea of the licence that comes with intoxication. I mean, one of the things I'm always really interested in is, is including many kinds of things in my videos, but uh, including things that don't belong together. The excitement, the emancipation that comes with the making of a, of a new kind of connection. Maybe that's what it is. Intoxication in art is about being able to transgress, being given freedom to create. But I think in particular the freedom is it's kind of counter to kind of academic structures or kind of rational. So it's this sense of being able to migrate. And, and certainly in the, you know, in the narratives of 20th century art, the great experimentation with form that takes place through the 20th century. Although a lot of the art doesn't look intoxicated, the whole project of it is really, really quite extraordinary. And so you, I think there is this sense of a permissiveness uh, within art that maybe has its root in the license of the festival and the license of intoxication. What I particularly love about art about alcohol is that it feels so unofficial and impolite. It's unruly and it's also very sympathetic towards quite basic human appetites and urges. At the same time, it can feel noble as well as base because it's soaked in this sort of woozy, revealing rapture. So even the most cursory glance back through art history confirms that drinking has been one of the driving forces of culture for millennia.